Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Legacy Challenge. In the last episode we had our family visit the De Salnor family and they have three kids that are all Sasha and Anna Maria's age. They have Dylan and Lucas who are twin boys and then they also have their older sister Jolene who will probably be turning into a child soon. And then we also had them over for dinner. We had the entire family over for dinner but it did not go great but it was Harvest Fest but despite Ray and Jake having struggling between the cooking and the full-time jobs and the toddlers making a mess everywhere and just everything they still had them over for dinner in this episode I think we're going to try for another baby I wasn't really planning on doing this but I kind of want them to have another kid so I'm kind of excited to do this I also found bunk beds for custom content because I mentioned in the last episode or the episode before that that I just couldn't find any bunk beds anywhere on the Sims resource but I finally found them so the fact that we only only have two bedrooms and we might be having another kid I might remodel one of the kids rooms so it'd be perfect for the twin girls so they can share a room and then I might possibly age up Sasha and Anna Maria into children we'll kind of see how I feel at the end of the video it it does say that it's three days until they age up into children so it would be a little bit early that we're aging them up but not like really that much early so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do that in this episode but before we begin don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications give this video a big thumbs up if you're looking forward to it and let's go ahead and play the legacy challenge okay so it's been several days since harvest fest it is winter now and we're one day into winter already so yeah it's been like one two three four it's been like four days since harvest fest so uh, there's some been some time that has passed jake is off to work now ray has been doing very well she's already maxed out on the writing level skill and she's been doing a lot of freelancing jobs so we've been getting a good amount of money go oh my god oh i didn't even realize we're at 30 thousand dollars last time I checked it was like ten thousand but Jake's been painting a lot too that's really where Jake's income is coming from is the painting not so much from the acting but I have got to say that is so accurate for if you want to be an actor when you're starting you are just like doing acting jobs and like have other jobs on the side and it's just a lot so totally totally relate to that but yeah Jake has been painting he's been painting a few masterpieces so we've been getting a, like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars from those two and then Ray's been making like two thousand three thousand dollars from all of her freelancing jobs when she finishes her books so she is doing right now her first level 10 I think that's what it's called a level 10 freelancing job so this one she's gonna get like four thousand dollars from when we finish it so I'm actually gonna have her do oh wait no go back yeah I'm gonna have her do that now so chat with client and then start working on that book and I don't remember what oh what book is she supposed to write she's supposed to write a biography really that's a level 10 skill interesting okay but yeah she so she has to write a biography we just got some a uh, couple hundred dollars from royalty so now we're up to fourteen thousand dollars so we have plenty of money to start remodeling the house guys I also got like a ton of custom content furniture like a ton so I'm really excited to actually do that in this episode um I want to see though I don't know if Jolene is uh, I don't know if she turned into a child yet I have to check because we know her we should know her wait right oh no she hasn't turned into a child yet so should I just go ahead and age her because she's older than the other boys are and the boys are actually older than Anna Marie and Sasha are too so should I just like invite them all over? Maybe. Uh, I don't know how to like invite them all over though. Can I, can you invite toddlers over? Will they come over if you invite them over? I don't actually know. She is still chatting with the client though. She does need to get her work done, but I think we have a good amount of money for now. So I think she can hold off on, on starting to write the book for now. Although that is due, when's the due date? Due by Wednesday at 9 a.m. Okay, so she's got like a little less than two days to write that. So we need to make sure she does that because needs and children they all get in the way way too much okay so i didn't actually know that you could invite toddlers over to hang out but jolene's gonna come over to hang out and i'm gonna age her up while she's here so i feel like her parents should be here for this too should i just invite the whole de salnor family over i probably should although jake's not here but that's okay all right so invite marjorie over invite um where oh who else is in that oh dylan invite dylan to hang out invite bruce to hang out and lucas to hang out because we should probably have the whole family over if she's going to age up. So yeah, this way she'll at least be older than them. And I should probably age up the twins before our kids too. But I can do that later, I think. So Ray, you should make a cake. So cook and then 
Let's see, what's a good cake for, well, you don't know that many recipes for cakes. So let's do a hamburger cake, because that's a good cake for a toddler. Okay, so Ray has finally finished making the cake. Jake is home from work, and he only made like $150. I need to go to work with him, because that is ridiculous. That's awful. Are you kidding me? He's been, that's been like his pay for the past, like, I don't know how many jobs. That, and that's not the median pay either, so that's weird. Or the, oh, I guess his median pay is different. But it said he was supposed to make like $300 from that, and he didn't. They lied. Why? He, he's just a background actor. Yeah, I think I'm, next time we're gonna have to go with him for sure. So, okay, well, uh, yeah, we need to find, let's see, uh, this one he'll make more money from, so let's go here. He's a Christmas level skill of two, which I think he already has. Um, so I'm gonna have him put on birthday candles, then we can age up Jolene. Oh my God, there's a mess over here. The kids are still making huge messes, and I don't know why, because we have toys for them. And I don't, I don't understand. They just keep making messes all the time and we keep constantly having to yell at them. And then it just got to the point, at first I was saying like express disappointment for making a mess. Then it just got to the point where I was like, you know what, just yell at them. Cause we've told them so many times not to make a mess. Who's calling Jake? Let's go to the, to the humor and hijinks festival. No, thank you. Okay, Ray, why don't you, oh no, you don't want to blow out the candles. You want to help blow out the candles, Jolene. And when are Ray and Jake turning into adults? They are, they have like 14 days till they age up, till they turn into middle age. So they still have time. They're still like young, have a lot of energy. Probably now is a good time for them to try for a baby. So we'll probably do that as soon as everybody leaves. But I'm debating, should I age up the twins now? To, I think I should wait, cause Jolene, she should be like, she's older than Sasha and Anna Marie are. So like, it's actually probably like her birthday. But yeah, I don't know. But maybe maybe right before we age up Sasha and Anna Maria, that's when I'll probably age up Dylan and Lucas, the little twinnies. So, oh wait, Ray, aren't you helping Jolene? Wait, you're supposed to help Jolene blow out the candles. What? Where is she? She's right there. So help her blow out the candles. Why help blow out candles? Jolene. Okay, I think I have to move the cake because it, it keeps like, she keeps going to pick up Jolene and then putting her back down which is super, super weird. So help, maybe if I age up, no, I think I have to help her blow out the candles. I don't know why. It, maybe it's just because of the position on the table. That's what I'm guessing. Um, Don't put her down. Why? Why, 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 why? Age her up. What is happening? Help blow out candles. Jolene, can Jake help her? Okay, I was like, I swear to God, if he puts her down again, that was like the third time. Okay, but yay, Jolene's gonna age up into a child so we can help pick out her outfits as well. I probably won't do that now. I'll probably do that a little bit later, um, but that's her. Oh, she's super cute, guys. Oh, she's adorable. I like her little hair like that too. She's so, so cute. Okay, so Jolene has aged up. So I'm gonna put this cake away. Maybe we can save it for when our twins age up, because we'll probably do that by this episode. So yeah, we'll probably do that towards the end of this episode. So yay, okay, so Jolene has aged up. So should we like send everyone away now? I don't actually know, but that's okay. They can, I think they can all hang out. It's 8 p.m. on a Monday, so it's not like too, too late. Oh no, something's wrong with Bubbles. Jake, go ask Bubbles what's wrong. And then the little kiddos can all play together too. So go talk to Dylan. And then you can, Anna Maria can go talk to Lucas and then talk about princesses. He's not gonna wanna talk about princesses, but I don't know, maybe, maybe he will. Okay, Bubbles looks like in need of attention. Pets and cuddles are in order. He is the, he's so needy, which is like, just like real life. He's so needy in real life. Okay, pet, and then we can also, let's see, what else can we do? We can give him a treat. And then give him some, I think I saw like give him special, special smooches. Okay, so Ray is starting to write her biography book. So hopefully we'll get, we'll get to make a lot of money. Also, she needs to pay her bills. They're like almost $2,000 guys. That's going to be, that's going to put her dent in our savings, but hopefully Ray can make up for it. So Jake should probably paint something. And then I'm probably going to put the kids to bed. So a little landscape painting. Then we can put the kids to bed and then they can try for a baby. So it looks like, oh uh, yeah, they're all, they're all one by one leaving. So probably shouldn't try for a baby when everyone is still here. So I'll wait till everyone leaves. Oh shoot, the computer broke. Oh, uh, okay, Jake has a little bit of a handy skill now. So Ray can resume writing. I, I also got Jake a laptop because there was no computer here. So we had enough money, I bought him a laptop. So as soon as Jake is done painting, then I'm going to have him repair this. No, Sasha! Oh my gosh, seriously? 
This is ridiculous. Stop it. All right, Ray, you're going to have to just make put it put an end to this. Stop this. Strict. Just it's so irritating. Now I'm just like, "All right, just yell at them." But they gain responsibility when you yell at them, but they lose responsibility when they're making a mess. So it's kind of like balancing each other out. But Ray, please clean that up. Sasha, go go play. Go do something else. You do not need to make any more messes than you have already because you've made so many messes. And then Ray, you can finish, although you should probably pay the bills. And then you can finish and resume writing your biography. All right, paying bills has left us with like $12,000. And this is only like $380 that we're able to sell for. And Jake's also repairing the computer. So hopefully he doesn't get electrocuted. Okay, good, he did it. All right, good job, Jake. You did not get electrocuted. Good job. Okay, Jake, you should... Okay, let's put everyone to bed. We didn't make that much money from the painting as I was hoping to, but that's okay. Um, so read Sasha to sleep. Although, what is wrong with you? Stinky diaper. Who has a stinky diaper? I don't see anyone with a stinky diaper. I think you're imagining things, Jake. It's so cute when they read to the kids, guys. It's adorable. And I love this little room too. I'm so excited to remodel it still though, just so we can add some more custom content. Although I'm gonna miss these beds. These beds are my favorite. And and with the bunk beds, you can't have these like beds or, or the comforter, or the style or anything with it too. So hopefully with the bunk beds, I have to see if it's actually gonna go with the room. like because we have like all the little floral stuff too. Although this doesn't go with the room, that's for sure. But we can still make it look cute. Okay, Sasha is asleep now. So I'm gonna have Jake read Anna Maria to sleep while Ray is finishing her book. Oh, Anna Maria just hugged the little bear. She is sweet, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> she just likes to cause a lot of trouble. So it'll be very interesting to see how she turns out. Oh, Anna Maria is the one with the stinky diaper. Oh, okay. So Jake, you're going to have... Don't you have to like, I think you have to give them a bath when they have a stinky diaper, which I don't understand why you can't just change their diaper. But well, no, I guess that makes sense. If they have a stinky diaper, they probably stink too. So toddler care, and then you need to give give her a bath. Ray, what an achievement. Ray has finished her book. Okay, cool. So we can send this off to the publishers and get a lot of money. Send a client for approval. Okay. <gasps> $5,000! Oh my gosh, that's so much more money than we thought we were gonna get. That's awesome. Why does Ray have an ultra ball in her in her uh, inventory? That is for the kids. Um, I mean, it can be for her too, but it's th that's the kids' toys. They play with it. Okay, Ray just made so much more money, guys. That's awesome. We have like $18,000 now. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to have her look for another gig just for now. We probably won't really start it right now, but... Let's do, ooh, let's do one of the mystery novels. Those are fun. Jake is giving Anna Maria a bath right now. So Ray, you can actually just start this. So start chatting with the client. Uh, Jake's getting hungry. So we should probably eat something before they try for a baby. Do we have any food in the fridge though? Besides the cake. Cause I know we have the cake in there. We do. Okay, Jake. Oh wait, is that spoiled? It is not spoiled. No, okay, we're still good. This is good for like another day. So Jake, grab a serving. And then Ray, you also need to eat. What? Oh no, she's chatting with the client. I thought she was writing her book already. I was like, wow, you're writing that fast. Oh no, Ray doesn't need to cook. She just needs to eat what is in the fridge. So yes, eat this, grab a serving. Okay, Jake and Ray are done eating. I'm gonna have Ray just use the bathroom now before she has to really badly later. She's gonna pee like a champion cause she's feeling confident. Okay, all the kids are asleep. Let's turn off all the lights. And then Jake, you need to use the bathroom now. And then should we just like turn off the lights? I guess it's not really necessary. We'll just turn it off. I don't know why. Does it actually, do you guys know this? If you turn off the lights, does that affect your bills? Like, cause I always have the lights on. I never have, oh, I should, I should just make auto lights for everything, but I always have lights on. So does that make your bills more expensive? If you guys know that, let me know. I guess I'll test it. I could probably do auto lights and see if it's cheaper than like, I think it was like $1,600 was our last bill. So yeah, we can see if that changes or makes a difference. Okay, so wait, Jake, what are you doing? No, oh, wait, tuck in. She's already sleeping. You don't need to tuck her in. What, does Sasha have an Anna Maria diaper? An Anna Maria diaper? Is that what I just said? Does Sasha have a dirty diaper too, is what I meant. Okay, Jake and Ray, go try for a baby then maybe we can have our third child and hopefully no more than that because I don't know if I want twins at the moment or triplets. I don't think they can afford or handle that, to be honest. It's so weird, like not being able to use cheats, you guys. It is so, so strange to me. 
I also, so yeah, I'll leave Brian Jake to this. Um, so I am probably going to end this series whenever Ray and Jake pass away. Cause I, and I know that totally defeats the purpose of the legacy challenge because it's supposed to be like nine generations, but like it's, I don't know, regular family life isn't super, super interesting to me. Um, and it's kind of cool though, because I get to see it as like, Ray and Jake, which is like me and Jake. So I thought that was just kind of interesting and cool. But since we are start, what, since I am starting the Dynasty series soon, it's going to be really hard for me to handle three series at once because I'm just going to want to like post like one instead of, and then I have to alternate them. So it's just it's just difficult. So I think whenever they pass away is probably when we'll end this series. But I could probably use the other characters if we ever start like another series or if I'm doing like a mod review or challenge or something so we can like bring them back so you guys can see too. But it looks like Ray and Jake are done trying for a baby. So Ray, go ahead and take a, wait, wait. Did you guys not try for a baby? You, I can't take a pregnancy test. Oh, guys, what were you doing? You both got into bed. You just like not, not? I'm, I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. It looks like Sasha's up though. Sasha, why don't you go play with a toy so you don't accidentally walk in on your parents? Oh, she needs to eat something though. <gasps> All right. You're gonna have to wait until they're done trying for a baby first. Okay. They are done trying for a baby. So Jake, you actually need to wake up and feed Sasha because she's starving. So give food to Sasha and give her some applesauce. And then Ray, you can go ahead and take a pregnancy test. So we're gonna see if Ray is pregnant. Oh wait, did you take a pregnancy test? Go take a pregnancy test. Jake can take care of Sasha. But go see if you're pregnant, I wanna know. Yay, guys, Ray's pregnant. <gasps> Yay, oh my God, she has a belly already. That was fast. Okay, so Ray's pregnant. Yay, guys, we're having another baby. Okay, I should probably start remodeling the rooms then. I'm so excited, oh my God. Okay, so Ray, yeah, Jake, or Ray just told Jake, I think he's excited. Are you excited, Jake? I see no reaction out of him. He kind of smiled and that was it. All right. Okay, auto lights, all lights. So this will be a lot easier now. Yeah, so we'll get to see. Oh, this is interesting. We'll, I, I added these little like saucer, the saucer lights thing too. Let me know if you guys do this. I saw a tweet about it, which I thought was hilarious. It's like all the chandeliers in the world, but this is the only light for me because I just, I love a lot of light in the houses and when you have like a chandelier and you're like, oh, that looks good, but it needs to be brighter and you don't wanna add a bunch of just big chandeliers. These things are amazing. You just place them everywhere. Although I do wish they were small. Oh, I can probably make them smaller in the build mode, but that would, yeah, that would require the cheat, but I could probably shrink them a little bit. Oh, that would be nice. Well, I think that Anna Maria and Sasha, I feel like they should probably share this room because it's bigger. Um, well, I don't know. Is it that much bigger? It's not like that. Um, maybe it's not bigger. It just looks kind of bigger because of this. And then I could put the bunk beds like right here. So I think I am going to move them to this room. It would just kind of be a little bit easier. Although we do have enough money if we wanted to add like another room, but I don't know. I don't really know yet. Okay, Jake needs to go to sleep. Ray, you also probably, yeah, you, you need to go to sleep too. Although you are gonna be hungry soon. Oh, you're eating right now. Oh, you just helped yourself, didn't you? Okay, well, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, Winterfest is tomorrow. <gasps> Guys, oh, I'll probably do Winterfest in the next episode, maybe? Yeah, I, I don't, we're gonna have to, yeah, cause we'd have to buy all this stuff. I don't even know where we're gonna put a tree unless we put it in the middle of the room. So probably not gonna do that yet. Okay, so Jake is going to, he's supposed to wake up. Wake up, Jake. Jake, you need to feed Anna Maria and then you can give Sasha a bath cause she's stinky, she needs one. Wait, did I just saw her leave the house? Come back inside. What are you doing? You're just running around. Give a bubble bath to Sasha. Wait, you gotta, you have to put Anna Maria in the chair. Wait, what? Anna where'd you get the food from? <laughs> Did you steal your mother's food? Did she steal that off the table though? Because like, I mean, she's, she's, it's filling her up. It fills her up. So I guess she's fine. I'm gonna have her take, I'm gonna have her sleep. Although I'm gonna have her sleep in here because we're about to remodel that room. So Anna Marie can go finish sleeping and then Sasha is getting a little bubble bath. And then Sasha also needs to go to the bathroom. So I should probably have Jake potty train her. We can start a little bit more on that. Cause I don't think I've, I've, I've definitely not potty trained them a lot. So yeah, go ahead and potty train Sasha when you're done giving her a bath. Oh, yay, Sasha acquired the potty skill already. That was fast. I probably have had her go to the bathroom then. 
But yay, now she can use the bathroom by herself, so that's good. And then I am going to move this little Pokeball here so we can just kind of move everything so that when we remodel, I don't have to like move, move like too much stuff. Oh gosh, guys, Jake is tired. Okay, Jake, go to sleep. Go back to sleep and then we'll, we'll have to... We'll have to get her later. Um, and then let's go ahead and remodel things, guys. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I am going to end this video pretty soon because I still want to age them up. So I want to make sure we have time to do that. But I want to at least show you guys the bunk beds. So I am going, let's see. Uh, okay, so yeah, exit that out and then get rid of the random book that was there. And then bunk beds, where are they? Bunk beds. So it's like, it's like a bed frame pretty much. And then you have to put the beds in the oh where is it okay i might have to search for it bunk hunker hunker down bunker oh no that's not it bunk beds bunker bather what oh the bunk in beds it is in beds uh no this is the that's uh wait what where is it i'm so confused i'm what it says it's here oh there wait it's saying it no it's not saying it's this one that one is just lit up in the back i was very very confused Okay, where's the bunk beds? I don't see it. Guys, am I blind? I can- I can't find it. I don't- is, Oh, wait. Uh, no, that's not it. What? Where? I'm so confused. It says the bunk is in beds, but there's nothing named that there. There's the mattress for it, but that's not even called the bunk. So it's finding it somewhere. What? I don't understand where the heck- Because the, these are here. So where's- Where's the bed frame? I mean, like, if we want to have floating beds, we can, but, like, I don't think that's a good idea. Where, where is it? I don't understand, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I think I'm going to have to, like, try to figure this out and just put the bunk beds in the next episode, which is fine because, like, they haven't had the kid yet, so we can still have them both in both rooms, but, like, I wanted to... I wanted to focus on that in this episode, and I don't, I don't see it. If you guys have any idea where this might be, please let me know. Well, that's really disappointing. All right, well, then I guess we just need our other bed back. Well, in that case, then, we can age up little Anna Marie and Sasha. Um, although it looks like, why, Jake, I know you're tired. You're sleeping right now. Calm down. Um, but it is two, it's 2 p.m. on a Tuesday. Oh, he's got to go to his audition at some point. But we should probably invite over our friends. So let's invite the D. Sonor family again. And then I'm just going to age up all the kids at the same time. So invite Dylan and Lucas. And did I miss their parents? I don't see them. Where are your parents? Okay, there he is. Marjorie is invited to hang out. And wait, where's your dad? Bruce? Oh, there he is. Bruce, invite him to hang out. Then I guess we can just invite Jolene over too. I mean, like, we might as well if we're inviting her whole family over. So invite to hang out. So Jake, you can get up now and then you should probably eat something too. But they are gonna eat cake too. So, well, yeah, no, I'll just have him, I'll have Jake eat. Did we run out of food? Oh no, we didn't. Okay, open, eat this, because it's probably gonna go bad soon. Did it say that everyone's coming over? Yay, Dylan DeSalnor will be over soon. Lucas will be over soon. Everyone's coming over. Okay, I'm just gonna have Ray cook a meal because they are probably going to need other food soon. So why don't you make some fish tacos, make a party size fish taco so we can have food to keep in the fridge when people get hungry. Um, okay, so they are getting, it looks like they're all here pretty much. Jake, can you change out of your pajamas? What are you doing? What are you doing? You need to change because we have guests over and you can't look like this when we have guests over. I should probably change their outfits soon too now because they all have like sort of autumn themed outfits. So I can probably change that too. Oh no, someone took a bite of the cake! Guys! Uh, oh, I thought this was cake for a second, but it's not, it's a dog toy. So Ray's baking food, but she should probably bake a cake. So why don't we go, we have to bake another cake. Are you serious? I saved the cake for a reason. Hopefully no one leaves while we're baking this. Okay, so the cake has been made. No, wait. <gasps> you guys, Jolene took a slice. We have to make another one. Are you kidding me? Guys, they cannot wait for the cake, can they? Oh my gosh, just make it something else than a hamburger cake because this is absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully no one leaves. I feel like they're all gonna leave by the time we're done making the cake. Jolene, you ruined it. Okay, Ray has just finished making the cake. I'm keeping an eye on this thing. Jake, can you, oh no, Jake has to go to his audition. Okay, well then I'm moving this in here. No, no, don't let the kids leave, stop. Don't leave. I'm gonna have to invite them over again. 
We need to age, like, you guys are the birthday boys. We have to age you up so you guys have to be here. I forgot who's older. I don't remember if it's Dylan or Lucas because they were named something different when they first were born. So I'm just going to say Dylan's older than Lucas is. So we'll age him up first. Ray is going to need a shower soon, but not right now. You need to put birthday candles on this cake. And then I, you need to invite the kids over too. Okay, Ray has added candles. So we're going to age them up. Oh wait, no, you have to you have to help them for for the cake. So age uh help help symbol out candle and Luke wait, did I say Lucas? Oh no, I said oh well, I guess Lucas is older now. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. Um okay, so yeah, we're literally aging up like four kids with this one cake. So it's a birthday cake for four kids. How efficient. Okay, so Lucas is being aged up first. He's gonna turn into a child, guys. Yay! He's so happy! Okay, then as soon as she puts him down, we need to add more birthday candles before someone eats that cake. But he's turning into a child! Yay! He's a child now! So he's the first one of the toddlers to age up. And then now we're going to help age up Dylan. So Dylan will be next. And then, oh, who's, oh, Anna Maria is older than Sasha is. So we'll have Anna Maria age up right after that and then Sasha. Okay, it is Dylan's turn. I really don't even think that Lucas's outfit looked that bad. I don't even know if we need to change it. I liked his hairstyle already. So I feel like we don't need to change it. Um, and then Ray add birthday candles. And then Dylan too. I mean, Dylan, I think he looks fine with his hairstyle too. Might need to change his clothes. Things seem to be like clashing a bit, but I think it's good. It's okay for now. Well, I'll change their outfits later on. Um, and then, ooh, no, don't want to age up the boys. Want to help Anna Maria blow out candles. So she's next, guys. I'm so excited. Jake's home from work and literally fell asleep right away. Jake, can you wake up? It's your daughter's birth. Oh, you need to use the bathroom. And you do, okay, you do need some sleep though, but use the bathroom first and then be here for your children aging up. Ray's needs are like completely fine. Jake is the one who's struggling. Oh, and then it looks like Anna Maria is stinky too. That's not good. But Anna Maria's turning up. She's turning. Oh, did I just say Anna Maria's turning up? That's not what I meant. She's aging up. Okay, Anna Maria has aged up. So, okay, so she was the charmer, but she's definitely like a little wild for sure. But there's really, okay, well, I don't know what her aspiration should be. Probably social. I feel like that's her aspiration. So she's gonna be a social butterfly. And then, let's see, gloomy, cheerful, goofball, active, genius, bookworm, mm, what would she be? She, I don't know, good, outgoing, insider. I mean, she's outgoing. She's, is she a goofball? She just likes to make a little bit of trouble. Is she mean? Do we think she's mean? Mm, I don't think she'd be mean yet. Like, as it, right? Well, maybe, maybe she's mean, guys. Maybe she's girly and maybe she's a mean girl. I think we're gonna do that. I think, oh, but she was a charmer before that. So does that make sense? Mm, I don't know how I feel about her being me. Ah, yeah. Yep, I don't want my daughter to be mean, but I think we're gonna do it. I think we are, just to add a little bit of something more interesting to this game. Let's see what Anna Maria did. I need to change her outfit. I do not like her outfit. So yeah, I will definitely change that in the next episode. And then we're going to have Sasha. So Sasha, I feel like would probably be the good one. I, I probably could have picked evil for Anna Maria, but I'm not ready for her to be evil. She's just a child. Um, so I think we're just going to have to stick with mean for now. And then with Sasha, she can be the nice one, the good one. So yeah. Oh gosh, guys, this is going to be so weird. We're going to have like complete opposites for the twins, but they're so, so cute. I'm so excited for them to age up and to be children. And then I can pick their outfits out later and show you guys in the next episode. Okay. Now it's Sasha's turn. She's aging up guys. She's aging up. She's gonna be a child. This is so, so sad. I'm like, that. they did grow up fast and someone pointed that out too. Oh, she was fussy. She was. Well, now she's the good one. They're kind of opposites of what they were as, as toddlers. I forgot about that. Okay, well, I feel like hers would be motor skill. She's probably more active. Um, and then I can make her active or I can make her good. I think it'd be more interesting to make her good. So one's good, one's mean. So, oh gosh, guys, all right. Well, yep, alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna change her outfit too, but I will change their outfits and show that to you guys in the next episode. If you want to also see what they look like, I'll probably put it in the thumbnail. I'll probably take the thumbnail of them 
after I change their outfits so you can see what I pick. And then I will show you guys for real in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to end this video here. Let me know what you guys think of Anna Maria, Anna Maria being the mean one and Sasha being the good one. And then in the next episode, we'll see them as kids and we'll probably have them join a few clubs. We'll see how mean exactly they are. And then we'll probably have the baby in the next episode too. And then I'll figure out the bunk bed so we can figure that out and actually remodel their rooms in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you haven't already so you know when we post a new episode. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!